Now that my clipping path is made, uh, we got to go ahead and print it. And if you want to watch how that clipping path is made, you can check that out in the other video, creating a clipping path for Photoshop. So we're going to go to the file menu, come down to print. We need to make sure that the printer that we want to print to is chosen here in the top setup. And then what we'll do is we'll click on this print settings dialog box and we'll get this window. So from this window, we're going to go to layouts. I'm going to click on that. We're going to come down to printer features. This is where we'll see the details of the actual print drivers from Oki. That's what we're looking at here. So we want to make sure we can mirror our print. If we're printing for t-shirts here, you can adjust the quality here. You can increase the quality if you want. Um, I'm just going to leave mine at 600 by 600. It's typically pretty good for us. Um, we go right back up to the job options. We're going to come down to color options. And when we go here, this is where you would turn on or off your white toner print, or you want to go ahead and get a grayscale print or a full color print, you would do it there. My color print details one. I really don't mess with any of this stuff. That's just set at default. It works fine. Uh, same thing with color print details two. That's all default, and I don't have to fool with it. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into the paper input options. This is where you would want to make some changes, so depending on the media that you're printing to. For instance, I have a 7-Eleven white printer, so if I wanted an exact print paper, I would use my Ultra Heavy 2 setting. And if I wanted the exact print opaque papers, like the A plus B uh, paper for dark shirts, then I would go ahead and use the Films setting for that one. And if you have a C920 white toner printer, you would go and use the transparency for that. Um, you don't see transparency in this list because I don't have that printer and a print driver set up. So from there, I would go over here and hit save and then hit print. And then it's going to pop back up and we're going to hit print again and it's going to go to our machine.